anybody get hurt from that? Yeah, right there's a guy. I'm mud dumb, dude, I'll tell you what. Twenty-one-year-old Margot Mange was an ideal soldier. The former Colorado State soccer most valuable player proved herself in Iraq as a military police officer and a Humvee gunner. Eventually promoted to sergeant, she was loved by her fellow soldiers for her gung-ho attitude and ready smile. She was even featured in a CBS News story. Exactly the kind of soldier the U.S. Army likes to showcase. Technically, you're not in combat. Technically. <laughs> but just months later, Margot's Humvee was destroyed by an IED. Margot's head slammed into the gun turret. She was knocked out. And while she quickly came to, she just wasn't the same. And this was Margot, her face paralyzed by Bell's palsy. Hi, I'm Eddie Gomez, president of the Rocky Mountain Hyperbaric Association for Brain Injuries. We're a 501c3 nonprofit organization that helps fund hyperbaric oxygen therapy for people who have suffered a brain injury. Through our Healing Our Heroes program, we fully fund hyperbaric oxygen therapy treatments for our veterans who have suffered a brain injury. We also provide food and housing for our veterans who are unable to travel to Louisville on a daily basis for their treatment. The house is located two blocks away from the clinic and has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, cable and internet access. We also provide psychological counseling for PTSD for our veterans while they're going through hyperbaric oxygen therapy treatments. All of this is done, again, at no cost to our veterans and is fully funded by private donations. Down to 1.5 atmosphere for a treatment time of 60 minutes. Total treatment time is going to be about a minute or an hour and 20 minutes, uh, 10 minutes for compression, 10 minutes for decompression. You ready for your treatment? Can you explain to me what you're doing now? Um, he's down at pressure now, so we're putting, uh, having him put the hood on. Uh-huh. And once he gets it uh, sealed up, it'll fill with oxygen. Okay. Just about got it. Yeah. And then once, once it's still all around and uh, pushed up there then. Uh, because I spent 10 months in Iraq before I got wounded by an IED. Uh -huh. um, I was blown out of the vehicle uh, when it detonated. How far were you blown? Um, from what I've told, I don't remember any of it, but from what I was told, um, made, uh, around 25 meters. Oh, wow. other injuries, lots of broken bones, uh, fractured vertebrae, and just all kinds of things. But yeah. my brain injury was really, you know, once the bones healed, my, my brain injury is, that's the one thing that's you know, the, the VA and the Army doctors, nobody can really help me with. Headaches, memory loss is probably the biggest thing that uh -huh. I really notice. Um, I, and even speaking with you now is difficult. 
yeah. to to articulate really how I want to say things, and I I notice even with myself that I pause a lot. Uh, was that your only injury? Uh, I sustained a lot of injuries uh, in in that IED blast. Yeah, how many? Um, it fractured my right knee, um, my pelvis in a couple of different places, fractured 13 vertebrae in my back, crushed my tailbone. Was this the only one that you suffered? Or, or uh, it was the only direct hit. The only, you got others? There were others. That were how, how many others? Uh, several. So, uh, probably between five and ten. How you feeling, Michael? I'm excited. My name is Ryan Fulmer. I am the founder and program director of the Rocky Mountain Hyperbaric Institute here in Louisville, Colorado. I wanted to introduce myself. Um, I've also been a safety director for about seven years, and the last time I checked, uh, conducted about 16,000 treatments in my career. Uh, I wanted to briefly describe one of the effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy to you and that is the effect of angiogenesis or neovascularization. Uh, this is the effect that happens in, in the hyperbaric chamber when oxygen is delivered. What it does is it forms new capillaries into the brain and this causes blood, the new blood flow to be delivered to the brain which reduces swelling and activates idling neurons. And what the experts tell us is that after 20 sessions these new capillaries are beginning to form and they'll flow blood through them while they're in the chamber. And after 40 treatments, the blood will flow through these new capillaries when they're outside of the chamber in their daily lives. And this is when results are seen. In addition to our staff here in Louisville at the clinic, we work with our medical director, Dr. Julie Stapleton, MD. As the medical director in the clinic, I'm involved with screening the patients. And what my goal is, is to make sure from our standpoint that they're a safe candidate to go into the chamber. It's really a very safe treatment, but it's important to make sure that they're well educated on what to expect and there aren't any potential risks or contraindications to treatment. So part of my role is providing that screening evaluation as well as being the first phase of the education process toward getting individuals in the chambers and getting them treated. And then as during as the treatment goes on, if there's any questions that come up requiring any kind of medical reevaluation, I'm available to do that on an ongoing basis. I wanted to feel better, so um, Robert found Ryan and Eddie, the Rocky Mountain Hyperbaric Institute for me, and they gave me 40 dives, and while I was down there, I was able to come off all my meds along with my doctor's help, and I am still off all of my meds, which feels amazing. I, I no longer have to live on the couch every day. Um, I mean, I still get headaches, but they're in comparison to what I had before, it's just day and night. And Easily, uh, one of the things that my family has noticed would be um, my temperament, my mood swings, things that I didn't even realize were going on have improved. And I now look back before I started the treatment 
and I realized, wow, I was, I was in a really bad place mentally. Um, and I didn't realize how bad it was until, you know, I'd gone through about a month of treatment. I looked back and I thought, man, last month I was just, I was irritable all the time. Well, Elizabeth was, told me a little bit about, uh, uh, she was kind of apprehensive about you at first until she started understanding. To, after studying for hours and hours and hours, uh -huh. he went from taking the test and turning it blank uh -huh. to having over 100% in one of his classes. Outstanding. And getting hundreds and A's in his tests. Yeah. So that by itself is a tangible mm -hmm. uh, result from the hyperbaric mm -hmm. oxygen therapy.